We're here in Cameron, Texas, about halfway between Austin and Dallas. We're at a drilling rig, but this drilling rig is not exploring for oil or natural gas. Instead, it's an experimental test facility where scientists and engineers test new technologies for application in drilling. We're here to develop a technology to extract samples of a new potential energy resource, which are called methane hydrates. Methane hydrate is an ice-like solid that's found in abundance beneath the ocean floor. It's composed of water and methane, and it forms at high pressure and low temperature. What's cool about it uh, is that it has an energy density 160 times that of methane alone uh, at atmospheric pressure. So we're talking about uh, an enormous supply uh, of the world's cleanest hydrocarbon fuel. So the problem here is that methane hydrate is ice-like. That means if we bring this methane hydrate from deep beneath the ocean floor to the surface, it'll disassociate into its components, methane and water. The challenge we have is to take that sample at depth and preserve the in-situ pressure, the higher pressures that are at depth, and bring that sample all the way to the surface at those pressures. To get there, we're gonna use a technology called pressure coring. So the University of Texas is leading this effort to develop and test this pressure coring technology. Uh, we have experts from the USGS in hydrate drilling. We have a company called Geotech, world leaders in, in pressure coring and pressure core analysis. And we have the Department of Energy here who are committed to testing and improving this important technology. So I want to give you a little bit of the physical insight to pressure coring. The first thing we do is drill the borehole. You can see the uh, drill pipe, and at the end of the drill pipe is the drill bit. We advance to the depth we want to core, and we stop. And at that point, we drop the pressure coring tool down the center of the drill pipe. We then advance the drilling about 10 feet, and as we advance, we take a core. So we hope that we've taken a 10-foot long core and slid it inside the pressure core barrel. We then extract the pressure core, and as we do so, a series of valves close so that we seal the pressure inside the coring tool um, and keep that distinct from the pressure in the borehole. We raise that system to the surface, and we know we're successful if the pressure that's inside that tool is the pressure that was at the bottom of the hole and if we've recovered a core. So this is an enormous project. As challenging as this is here in Cameron, Texas, the next step will be to take this pressure coring tool 100 miles offshore in a mile of water where we can acquire for the first time in the U.S. pressure cores in these energy reservoirs.